Well, we're really disappointed that we've heard further announcements today of up to another $1.2 billion in cut from the public service when we've already seen 18,000 public service job cuts under the Abbott Turnbull government. So today we're really calling on the Turnbull government to respect the ACT public service, to respect the value of the services to all of Australia and to ensure that the public service is fully funded, that we don't see any nasty surprises and further cuts in this budget. And we're calling on ACT Senator Zed Soselja to stand up to his party and to actually fight for Canberra jobs and to fight for these valuable services that Canberrans are providing to Australia. What we're seeing is that these huge job losses are having an enormous impact, not only on Canberra and the people who have lost their jobs, but on the public servants who are left behind to pick up the extra slack. We also know that we've seen a huge devastation to the valuable services that Canberrans provide. We know that one in three calls to Centrelink are not being answered. That's mothers, pensioners, um, students who simply aren't able to access the services that they deserve. And that's not good enough. Australia is a really wealthy country and we can afford to have a robust public service. But what we can't afford is to have a is to have strong public services if the top end of town aren't paying their fair share. And what the Greens are calling on the Turnbull government to do is to ensure that the top end of town are paying their taxes, that Australia's largest corporations are paying their fair share, that Australia's top um, income earners are paying adequate taxes so that we can fund robust public services. Yeah. The fact of the matter is that we have heard nothing from Zed Soselja in federal parliament on the huge, enormous job losses that Canberra suffered. The only time he's talked about public service job cuts in parliament was to defend the 2014 budget. Now, these jobs are incredibly valuable to Canberra and these services are incredibly valuable and we need a senator in parliament who's willing to stand up for Canberra. We're seeing huge job losses and huge cuts to hospitals. Um, we're seeing huge cuts to the Gonski funding. We're seeing cuts across the entire public sector and we're hearing nothing on these cuts from the Canberra Senator. And we're seeing nothing and hearing nothing from Zed Soselja on what these losses mean to Canberra. And what we've seen is other senators and other members of parliament standing up. We've seen Chris Pine fighting, to South, fighting for South Australian jobs, but where's Zed Soselja fighting for Canberra jobs? We've heard nothing. Yeah, yeah. What sort of Do you want? Well, we're really excited about this campaign. We've had, a, we've had huge interest from members of the public. We've had great numbers of volunteers coming on board. We're out every weekend knocking on doors, talking to people about what issues matter to them. And we're really excited. And I'm really excited to be running and providing Canberrans with an alternative voice and a strong voice for Canberra in the Senate. Great. I think that's it. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, great.